Asia being here, and Abby said it, she's seven. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I actually said to you, like, I really liked you. I think that you had other things going on to be, to be fair. And I think that you were just sort of in a bad place. And then, no, no. What kind of did. bad place? Well, you, you. Well, no, it stemmed from it. The Jill tr started twisting the story. And then, I just said the story how it was. No, but, but when you there say that, there was nothing that, to twist. But when you say that, Jill, yes, my daughter's seven, right? And she's allowed to cry. Absolutely. But I think you have a problem because Kendall cries all the time. I and know I she that, wears her heart. I don't have so to with, hide it. You have to hide it. I don't have to hide it. She ran someone. into the bathroom and you went in and but said, "Don't no. tell them you were crying." No, I did I not. Know. Know. My problem with all the tears is these are children who are healthy come from good homes, mm -hmm. they all have a mom and a dad in the house, they are getting to dance on national television week after week after week. Why are they crying? There's kids in Pittsburgh that don't have food to eat, that don't I have don't a house, anyone that is, don't have heat. I don't those think kids any, should be crying, I don't excuse think me, anyone is those kids that. should be crying. But Not these kids you. that are at dancing school. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be artistic and graceful and fun, I think that there's just bigger things out in the world to be crying about. Well, Abby, you think we want our kids to cry? Because you're wrong. That. Of course there are bigger, better things. You're, you're faulting these children because they have all these things. So what? They're still human beings. I don't know when crying became a crime. When it happens four times a week. Ease up on them. Maybe they wouldn't cry so much.